back to amazing roads. Absolutely. Oh. So we're not on a 4x4 this time. Good morning from a very spontaneous trip. We totally didn't plan that last night, did we? We totally didn't get this car dropped off to us at 8 o'clock last night for this <laughs> last minute spontaneous adventure. But these are the best kinds of adventures. Yeah, it almost didn't happen, but then I thought we love the thrill of just planning something really last minute. So thought, let's just go through with it. So, yeah. Two. Then I uh, pole pole, I go this way, no problem. Okay, Asante. The locals are uh, telling you to stay clear off that road. This is the thing, guys. When it comes to driving around in Kenya, don't be a man. Like, we don't ask for directions typically. We just kind of go, no, 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 I know where I'm going. It's fine, we're gonna go this way. If you're not sure, oh, it's oof, best to ask. ask a local and they will tell you. So it's gonna add about half an hour onto our journey, but it's probably gonna add a few years onto our lives. So uh, I'm okay <laughs> with take that. take it easy. Yeah. And so this is where the chaos is. Why is there so much noise? I can hear whistles and music, music and people running now. The Where are we going? Telling me to move. What's going on? I have no idea. <laughs> They're like shouting, go, 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 that way, that way, that way, that way. And the thing oh, is... No, you went the wrong way. Right, okay. we need to turn around. I can do a U-turn. This whole Mombasa thing is not for the faint-hearted. If you self-drive, you've got to be prepared. If you're not used to it, just be ready. General rule of thumb for driving, particularly in the cities, keep a cool head. Don't make sudden decisions based on how you feel. Just go with it. If you make a mistake, you'll find a way out of it, kind of thing. It's just because... And follow the road rules. Definitely follow the rules of the road. Do not get yourself in a difficult situation. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't get yourself in a difficult situation. All right, all right. Right, we are finally at the ferry. How much is that for the car to cross? It was 280 shillings, which is pretty good. We also forgot to mention how much we paid for to hire the car. 5,000 shillings per day, yeah, yeah which we're getting with that conversion. So it's, and we're renting it for two days, so 10,000 total. And then we fueled up with another 10K. So we're just being mindful to add how much things cost in Kenya. So that's why we're just gonna try and put all of the numbers below. I think we have audience. <laughs> we definitely have an audience at the window. <laughs> That's right, we have come to the beautiful Mandari Lodge and we've come to an area that actually we have never explored before. We're in the area of Kwale and this place is sandwiched directly between Shimba Hills National Reserve and here Mwalonganje, what you can see behind Mwalonganje Elephant Sanctuary, which is also cool and I've never heard of it before. So this weekend we came to do a little exploring of this area. Hopefully we're gonna get out and see something special. Very excited. And there's waterfalls. And we haven't seen a waterfall in forever. Yeah, that's true. We're excited. Yeah, we are. How's the water? I can't even stand there. <laughs> the view is absolutely amazing. And the staff here told us that you can sometimes see the elephants down in the sanctuary. And obviously you've got this amazing pool, so you can just sit in it and just watch for hours. So it's quite a cool little place here. You can either rent this in its entirety as an eight person villa, or you can come here and they, they split it up. You've got the place behind us here has two separate bedrooms in, so you can just take that or 
the room that we're staying in is a beautiful ginormous bedroom with an amazing view out and then they've got another little cottage down the bottom as well but they also actually do day trips here you can actually organize with the lodge to come from the Annie spend some time here you can come have lunch go into the park see some of the things there use the pool here so you can either spend the middle part of the day here or they can organize like a sundowner package so you come in the afternoon you can spend some time down in the park come up here for the late afternoon and just enjoy the beautiful sunset which we haven't seen yet but apparently where we are right now is the prime spot so apparently the sun is setting right there oh, yeah. Yeah. what are you doing what have you what i have got you baby play mantises and a tiny baby jumping spider baby praying mantises four of them and one baby spider oh yeah he's tiny he's actually. collecting praying mantis babies and i'm collecting baby animals baby everything right yeah but in other news food has arrived we asked for something quick and simple and they have delivered got a pasta i've got myself some chicken and ugali there some omelet nice sauce here what's that nice smell that nice smell is my chicken Cheers. Cheers. What are you guys eating? Yummy ugali gali. Ugali ugali gali. Is it nice? If you had to pick between ugali and chapati, which one wins? Ugali. Ugali wins. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm I with only want this kind of sauce. Oh, with that sauce. Mm. Enjoy. Alright guys, so we've just come back to the room to take a little break before we go for our sundowners and we wanted to talk about today's video sponsor. <laughs> the African Dodo. The African Dodo are sunglasses that are made in Africa. As you guys know, we travel a lot and we're in a lot of sunny places. So it's quite important for us to actually have good eye protection and you've probably noticed we wear sunglasses all the time. So the African Dodo are making high quality sunglasses that can compete with these high-end brands but at a more affordable price. So the sunglasses are made in Mauritius and they're all inspired by and named by the extinct birds from the Mascarene Islands. So when African Dodo reached out to us, we told them we really wanted to put their product to the test. So these guys, and these guys, and these guys... And I get one. <laughs> are gonna be coming all around Africa, all around the world with us this year. We are going to be putting them live to the test to make sure they are up to our standard of adventure. They have three different frames. These two that I'm wearing here. This is one frame, two lenses. I call these the Dave Marnies. What do you think? <laughs> These guys as well, which are also super cool. And this is my style of sunglasses as well, by the way, guys. Like anybody that has been watching our content knows that I love this kind of thick frame sunglasses. And then uh, Ina is rocking these, these bad guys. So this is what I've got. And currently they only have this pair for the ladies, but they are working on bringing new designs. So oh, do you stay tuned for that? But to it's you. actually a unisex lens. I think I actually look pretty cool in these as well. Okay. If you would like to, purchase your own pair of the African Dodo sunglasses. There's a few places right now within Kenya. You can either reach out to them via Instagram or through their website, or you can find them in Kenya in one of these places. And because they are inspired by the extinct birds. These guys also donate a percentage of the money to endemic bird conservation charities to actually help protect birds and stop them from going extinct. Anyway, <laughs> African Dodo, <laughs> Woo! moving on. Even though it's almost time for sunset, the pool was just too inviting, wasn't it, Malia? We had to get back in. Are you gonna jump? Yeah. Do it. The sun has set. 
the sun is setting and just as the sun's going down we saw and you guys will definitely not be able to see this but we'll try and no, see no i in. think we can pick it up there's a little patch of water with some elephants around it just down there Here at Mandawi Lodge, they have this cool little pagoda sunset point. But basically, this is the best spot to come and watch the sunset. We don't have the most amazing sunset this evening, but we do have the most amazing view and the most amazing family, most importantly. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Shimba Hills. It's so nice and peaceful up here this morning. We're getting packed up, all of our stuff in the car. My beautiful assistant is, is coming. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. So yeah, the idea this morning, we're gonna head down into Shimba Hills National Reserve, which we have no idea what to expect. So we're quite excited to just explore somewhere a little bit new. Apparently there's a really cool waterfall there, Sheldrick Falls. We've organized for a ranger to accompany us and take us down there. I don't know, can we swim in the, the waterfall? We'll find out. Maybe swimming. We'll have swimming costumes. And yeah, to explore a little bit more of this beautiful landscape around us. So far, we were supposed to leave beautiful. about half an hour ago. But 15 minutes ago. <laughs> we're on time. Yeah. <laughs> So we're driving through Kuala and both me and Adam think that it's, it just looks so peaceful and like serene. It's got um, a very laid back, chilled vibe. Yeah. If you're from Kuala, let us know. We'd be happy to come over for some like Nyama Choma, you know, some chapatis and coconut beans. <laughs> Send us an invite. <laughs> That's all we wanted to say. What's going on? The family gates open at 6.30, but uh, it's a ghost town right now. <laughs> the window is open, but there's just, there's no one here. What can you see? Closer to the baboon. What can you see? A baby walking really close to the baboons. Baboons. Where are the baboons? So we've been in the park for about 20 minutes now and seen absolutely nothing until now. We never thought we'd be so excited to see grazers, you know, like these guys, <laughs> you go to these other parks and they're just running around everywhere. Hello. Every animal is important. Hello, Impalas. Nice to see you. All right, should we keep going? <laughs> yeah. I think we actually have to go down there. To oh yeah? I think so. Do you know what that sign says? Buffalo something, so I think that's where we need to go. We want to find a breakfast spot because the team have kindly packed a breakfast for us, so we're starving. Oh, get out! Get out! <laughs> the car is full of these little bugs and they're just flying everywhere. They got one out of the window. We found our breakfast spot. We did. Welcome to Giriyama Viewpoint. Actually, you can also see the ocean. Oh yeah!
breakfast with a view complete. And now it's time to go and meet our ranger who's gonna take us down to Sheldrick Falls. You can actually go down to Sheldrick Falls without paying for a ranger from if you go from 10 a.m. But because we wanna go there a bit earlier before all the crowds, we are gonna pay a ranger. We'll also let you know how much that costs exactly. All right, let's begin. It's gonna take uh, who knows how long down there. It's about two and a half kilometers each way. So fingers crossed for this little one making it. <laughs> How's the hike so far? Great! Why? Especially now because we're in the jungle. That's true. And look, these look like jellyfish. <laughs> You're enjoying it, right? Yeah. Nice. So, so far, it's a quite a manageable walk. The first part is all path and stairs, and then it goes on to essentially like a dust track, which is a little bit slippery in places, but generally they get people come here of all ages to do this. And there's areas where you can stop and take your time and get some shade and we'll update when we actually get there. But right now, so far so good. these beautiful mahogany trees here which just to be honest we've seen a lot of trees but these just they just look very I don't know very powerful yeah <laughs> it's not only they're just like there uh, but yeah very good for furniture but apparently not allowed to actually use them for furniture anymore because there's not many of these old trees left for a room tour. Welcome to Golini Suite. Come right in. First of all, the view is everything. It's out of this world. Comes with a massive bed. This is a couple's room, but we decided to stay here because of the view. So we all fit here perfectly. It's a huge bed. Like, yeah. there's plenty of room. And, Incredible view. It's really cool to be able to sit out here. We had coffees here this morning. There's a little table there that you could do your dinners and things there if you wanted to as well. Back to Ina. Okay, so this is the terrace. Love this side. Obviously this is the chill out space over here. You can have, I don't know, maybe some sort of a private lunch or a dinner. But I've got to say the bathroom is probably one of my favorite bathrooms that I have ever encountered. Indoor outdoor bathroom. right in the middle which I think it's awesome and it's just super unique and I love how they've just introduced the outdoors inside the property so 
Welcome back to Shimba Hills National Reserve. We had intended to do a, there's a beautiful nature walk apparently to Kaya Kazanza, which is a, it has a small waterfall as well. We were talking and thought, you know what? <laughs> we had a long walk earlier. We spent really no time in the park other than just kind of going to Sheldrick Falls. And because it was such a beautiful waterfall, we thought this, going to the, another waterfall today might not give the effect that we wanted. So we decided to come back into Shimba Hills, explore a little bit more and go for some, look for some viewpoints basically. What we now understand is in the park itself, people don't typically come here for the abundance of wildlife. They come here more for the scenery and the views. So if that's what they give us, that's what we'll take. We're gonna head in, go and find some beautiful viewpoints hopefully, and show you guys a little bit more of Shimba Hills National Reserve. Right, let's go. Beautiful. Tango. Tango Hill. Beautiful. Yeah, at the other viewpoint there was a lot more like of the villages, whereas now it's just greenery and trees. And wind. And a lot of wind. Viewpoint. It is beautiful and it's called Ocean Viewpoint because obviously there is the ocean over there. points here and one that we tried to find was Buffalo Ridge and we could not for the life of us find it. We almost didn't even find the ocean viewpoint but we've got some popcorn and we want to basically enjoy the last bit of our day here in Shimba Hills before we go back to Otamo. Unbelievable. All of these colors. Yeah, it's so nice. I think the added wind has kept away the clouds and it's been a, it's a beautiful clear night. Kind of, yeah, you can see for miles. So we decided, the chef here, Suleiman, is amazing by the way. We have an amazing team who are taking care of us and food is a very big part of a getaway. So we decided that tonight is a Swahili kind of night. He makes amazing samosas that Malia has finally started eating. Yeah. Because he's put like nice vegetables inside. We've got ugali, yeah. some sort of a coconut bean sauce. And we're waiting for the fish and chicken. So amazing view, I mean, Dinner what, what else could we ask for? Check that out. <laughs>
And I think it's about time to say goodbye. Before we do, we want to just talk a little bit about the property here and just as a little recap. Mandari Lodge sleeps eight people. They have three separate rooms slash property. The double with the big terrace that we're staying in. They've got the little cottage, Chewy Cottage, which has a double and a single. So if you're a family, it's kind of perfect. That, that one's right family, yeah. next to the pool as well. And then there's a small double room on site here as well. You can either rent the whole place in its entirety. Right now, based on today's prices, if you were to book this weekend, the whole place you'd book for $650 per night, which actually for an entire place, I think is pretty really good. good but if you just wanted to book the room that we're staying in only that goes for three hundred dollars a night today's prices so obviously that can vary with seasons and various different factors like that but that is today's price the park was really nice going into shimba hills again it's not really one for seeing an abundance of wildlife but if you just want to kind of get out into nature it's a short drive from diani as well so if you're in the area of diani you can actually do day trips up this way into the park and chill here for a couple of hours by the pool they do whole day packages and you can check well. that on their <clears throat> website all of that information is on their website and we will link that up in the description as well ah i forgot something what i have to add it in what? the waterfall the times it was at 10 a.m 2 right and 2 p.m if you do not want to pay for a ranger to take you down to the waterfall to sheldrick falls they do a free guided walk down there at 10 a.m and 2 p.m however it does get a lot of people there were probably i don't know exactly but at least 20 people that yeah. were down there in the group that we saw earlier or well, we were so grateful that we actually decided to um, book a ranger which is 2,000 shillings plus any extra tip that you want to give them in order to have that whole place to ourselves it's really worth it guys i can't stress that enough <laughs> like i would definitely do it again if we're in this area i'd go to sheldrick falls and i would pay to have a ranger with us as well it's very fortunate that we were able to rent a car in watamu i won't give any more information than that because it's all it's linked below yeah exactly all the links will go <laughs> if you go this far yeah that is. <laughs> but anyway we had an amazing time and we'll see you on the next one bye bye